It's great to be here. It's great always to reconnect with Plumstead. I've uh, appreciated opportunities to come up and, and speak with the faculty from time to time. And it really is a joy, and, and I consider it a, a real honor. When I was thinking back uh, about my own time at Plumstead, I, a, a few things occurred to me that were particularly significant. And, and I want to I want to frame the remarks I'm going to make uh, just over the next few minutes in this way. I want to I want you to think in terms of why it is that Plumstead Christian School is important. Why it is that it's important to support Plumstead Christian School. Why it is important to support Christian education in general. And I want to answer that question in a very personal way by trying to, to explain in just a few minutes why Plumstead Christian School was important for me. And I would divide this up, I think, into three major ways in which Plumstead prepared me. And, and, and three major things that I'm grateful to the Lord for that, that he used Plumstead to affect in my life. First of all, I would say this, that I'm, I'm incredibly grateful, and, and even more so as I continue on in life, for the academic preparation I received at Plumstead. When I graduated from high school, I didn't have a, a sense of exactly what it was that I was going to do vocationally. I had a few ideas. I had some sense of perhaps uh, where I was gifted, but I, but I didn't know, and I certainly didn't think I'd be doing exactly what I'm doing now. But nonetheless, I went on to Cairn University, as Pat said, and one of the features of Cairn, both then and now, was that it required a tremendous amount of, of writing, of academic writing. It still does today. But what I found very quickly was that I was well prepared for everything I was asked to do in college by the education I had received at Plumstead. And in fact, it was interesting because I ended up starting at Cairn with a few other graduates from, uh, from my class at Plumstead. I can't remember how many there were. I think there were maybe four or five of us from that graduating class of 94 who went on to Cairn. And I, and I remember overhearing a professor at Cairn, and, and, and he, he said this. He said, I, I wonder what it is about Plumstead, because all the students we get from there know how to write and to write well. And that struck with that stuck with me. I, I don't know that it was intended for my hearing, but but it stuck with me because I thought, what a gift from the Lord that He prepared us academically and, and, and prepared us well. It isn't something for which we can take credit, but it's something I give credit to the Lord for, and it's something that I'm thankful to Plumstead for. Plumstead prepared me academically very well. The second thing I would say when I look back at my time at Plumstead was I was not only academically prepared. I was also spiritually nurtured. I don't remember everything that was taught to me in Bible class at Plumstead. I know I, I went to Bible classes. I can, I can look back at my report cards and see that I received grades. But I don't remember everything that was discussed in every class. I do remember some things. I certainly remember some of the major discussions we had and some of the topics that were covered. I remember some chapel speakers. I remember our missions trip to the Dominican Republic in our senior year. So there were a lot of aspects that I do remember, but I don't remember all of it. But one thing has really <clears throat> stuck with me about the spiritual nourishment I received, and that's this. I, I remember very clearly the way the faculty members and the administrators cared about us spiritually and they themselves were so obviously spiritually concerned. They had made great sacrifices to be there. They still do, I would imagine, make great sacrifices to be there as teachers and administrators. And it was clear that they did it because of the spiritual values that they held so tightly. And that impressed me, and it still impresses me as I think back upon it. So I felt I was academically prepared, spiritually nourished. And then, and then finally, I would say that I, I'm appreciative to the Lord for the, the friendships I made at Plumstead. You know, when, when you're going through high school, at least when I was going through high school, that was, that was a big part of my experience, was the social life that I had, the friends that I had, the, the people that I got to spend time with. I'm sure that's true of most high schoolers. It's a big part of the high school experience. But what has impressed me looking back 
is not just that I had good times in high school. I did. I can remember some great times I had in high school. But it's not just that I had good times and enjoyed my friendships then. What's really impressed me is that in the 21 years since I've graduated, I've run into a number of my classmates. And, and even if I haven't seen them for, for years, even if I haven't seen them for 20 years or 15 years, <coughs> what I'm impressed by is that many of the same values that were pressed home in our lives at Plumstead are still deeply held in their own lives today. In other words, in other words, when I meet these people whom I haven't seen in perhaps 20 years, I feel as if we're on the same page. They might be doing something very different for me vocationally, but nonetheless, uh, there's, a, there's a core that we share in common, and it's not just shared experiences. It really is shared convictions. And so when I think back at my time at Plumstead, academically prepared, yes. And I'm, and I'm thankful to say when I see students today who have graduated from Plumstead, I'm grateful to the Lord that it seems to me the same thing is happening. I'm also grateful that I was spiritually nurtured. And I can testify to you having sat in devotions with the faculty members at Plumstead, that that spiritual vibrancy is still a, a part of the school. And then finally, the social aspect. It was part of high school then, but, but it's, it's, it's still something that strikes me today. Friendships that I made then are still ones that I have now. And so I would say to you that I believe Plumstead has been integral in my own life, and I believe for all of you it is worth supporting, and you do, and you have. So I'm grateful to you and many like you who have made this kind of education possible in my own life and in the lives of many others. So thank you.